SNAP benefits, otherwise known as food stamps, and you won't believe this. I have all the details and what they're now saying right here in the video, so let's get right into it. I know in this video we're specifically focusing on SNAP benefits, also referred to as food stamps or formerly called Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, and some major changes they want to implement for this program that I do know for a fact would impact millions upon millions of beneficiaries. Let's get into it and talk about what they're now saying. Same. However, really fast before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, or if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. It's totally free to do so, and I'm here for you right by your side each and every day to keep you posted on what's actually going on and how all of these changes may impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account, and of course, pointing out anything out there right now you can possibly grab and or take advantage of. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and let's get into it and talk about what they want to implement as far as changes to to the SNAP program, otherwise referred to as food stamps, and how this would impact millions upon millions of beneficiaries. So let me point this out really quickly before we get into this. These are not my ideas, okay? I do not want to be the person taking blame for this because these are some pretty dramatic ideas here, but this is what they want to implement as far as changes to the SNAP program. And again, I would anticipate this is probably not going to be very exciting for a lot of people who receive SNAP benefits, but let me tell you what lawmakers are now suggesting. And again, this is not necessarily a great idea, which by the way, I also do want to share with you a story here in just a couple minutes from a conversation that I had with somebody right here on the channel. And again, how this would impact a lot of people. And again, like I said, I know this for a fact. All right, get this. They came up with a report here and some of these lawmakers are suggesting over the next 10 years, uh, SNAP beneficiaries are going to be spending $240 billion over the next 10 years on what they're calling junk food. Not only that, over the next 10 years, out of that $240 billion, $60 billion of that is going to be spent on soda or pop or soda pop, whatever you call it. Doesn't really matter. It's all the same thing, depending on what you call it. But that's what they're saying. Basically, a quarter trillion dollars will be spent on what they're calling junk food from SNAP beneficiaries, okay? That's what they're suggesting. Now, here is what they want to change about the SNAP program. I hope you're sitting down. They want to eliminate the ability to buy prepackaged or processed foods and pop or soda, soda pop, whatever we call it, okay? Basically what they wanna do is they wanna cut SNAP beneficiaries off from buying all of these packaged foods and this, you know, the drinks, right? So like what they what they basically say is sugary drinks, right? Okay, now let me break down the details of this and let me tell you really quickly this story and the person that I had a conversation with right here on the channel where we talked about this exactly, okay? Now, to be fair, this conversation did take place a couple months ago, but let me tell you how this whole conversation went. So reached, she reached out to me and she said, She's a SNAP beneficiary. She happens to be diabetic. So we have this conversation and she said, it is so difficult for me to eat healthy. She said, the doctor tells me that I should eat healthy, you know, because of the diabetes and things like that. And she said, it is so difficult to eat uh, healthy on a, uh, on a budget with SNAP because healthy foods are so incredibly expensive. And again, I know this is a thing because I've had other conversations with those of you here in the community basically saying the exact same thing. Healthy foods are expensive. And basically what this person was telling me in this conversation a couple months ago is that it's she's basically forced to buy a lot of these packaged foods simply because they're cheaper, right? I mean, how many of us relate to that, right? You go to the grocery store, you look at the so-called healthy option, it's like three times the price. Then you look at the cheaper option, you think, well, why wouldn't I just buy this? I can buy two or three of these for the same price that I can buy the so-called healthy option, right? So again, that is the exact same thing that's going on right here. So I'm not really sure what their plan is going forward. Okay, fine. If they uh, implement some of these changes and force us to buy more healthy foods and things like this, is this also going to mean that they're going to boost benefits by, I don't know, 100% or 200% or something like this to account for that? Because I think they know just as well as we do, buying healthy or fresh foods as they want us to do with SNAP benefits is very expensive. I mean, just take a little stroll through the produce section of your grocery store. It's very expensive to buy fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and all of these other things that they determine as, uh, you know, fresh foods and stuff like that, healthy foods, right? So again, just like that conversation that I was having with that person, it is very expensive, right, to buy all of these healthier, uh, healthier food options. But this is what they're now talking about. Now, to be fair, this has not changed yet, as in Congress has not come forward and implemented this change yet. However, 
I wouldn't put it past them to get something like this done at some point in the relatively near future, okay? This is what some of the lawmakers are suggesting. So again, they're basically looking at this and saying, wow, look at that. $240 billion over the next 10 years, which by the way, that's $24 billion on average per year over the next 10 years. And they're suggesting 60 billion of it alone is being spent on pop, soda, soda pop right? So as a result of that, they're saying, why are we spending $60 billion a year on this program and allowing it to be spent on these sugary drinks, right? And not only that, here's what they're also saying, is they're suggesting not only are these uh, foods offering no nutritional value, they're also saying, what about all of the other health consequences as a result of these foods being ingested on a regular basis? Now, again, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I am because I'm not, okay? Far from it, okay? Okay. I barely even know how to spell doctor. I'm just kidding. I know how to spell it. I'm just saying. My point is, I, I'm not a doctor, okay? But my point is, they're suggesting that, you know, with all of these, um, you know, packaged foods, these sugary drinks and things like this, they're suggesting, well, what are the health consequences of ingesting all of these foods over long periods of time? Good question, right? So basically what they're saying is this is a multi-fold effect right now. We're spending hundreds of billions of uh, dollars on the program that's being spent on these foods. And then they're also suggesting more money because of, you know, the health consequences and the health, uh, you know, struggles and things like that because of the consumption of these foods. Well, again... I don't know. I mean, maybe let's align the dots here for a second. I mean, everybody that's receiving benefits from the SNAP program can clearly understand what's going on here. Healthy foods are expensive. I've said it like six times so far in this video, right? We all know this. If benefits were, say, I don't know, 100% more, if, if benefits were doubled, right? So let's just say you're getting $100 per month right now. I'm just using that as an example. Let's just say that they bump that up to $200 a month. Would it be a little bit easier to buy healthier foods? It would be, but would that be enough? Probably not. But you you see my, my illustration and the example that I'm giving here, right? Is the reason that people are buying some of these foods, now, of course, not everybody, but the reason that some people are consuming these foods is because it's very expensive to try to buy anything healthy. Your budget to buy a healthy diet versus the budget to buy prepackaged, you know, pre-made foods and things like this you can get a lot more for your money. And that's what people are going for is because nobody has enough money right now to cover this. People need the volume of food versus the the quality, right? So people are going for volume versus quantity. Or I think that's, you know, pretty, or, or sorry, not, not quantity, um, quality is what I meant to say there. So people are going for volume of food as in quantity versus quality. And I think that's completely reasonable to say. I think many of us can probably understand that and go and, uh, you know, understand that that is probably the case that's going on right now because let's look at the situation. Benefits are not very much. They expect us to live on all of these benefits throughout the course of the entire month. We know that it's not enough. Therefore, we go and think, okay, what can I get with my $200 this month? Well, I can buy a bunch of pizzas because pizzas are like $3 each or whatever. And that'll get me like a meal or two or something like that, right? So that's basically what people are looking at is not necessarily looking at it saying, oh, look at this. This is a healthy meal. This is going to be one meal and it's going to cost me $8. I can't wait to spend that money. But rather they're looking at the situation thinking, well, I have $200 to spend for the entire month. What can I do to buy the most food? to actually, you know, give me the most meals for the next one month of time. Kind of makes sense. And I think we can all probably agree with that. That is the situation that SNAP beneficiaries are facing. So anyway, I guess my rebuttal to this whole argument here out of these lawmakers suggesting, oh, let's limit these items, these pre-made foods and all stuff like this. Okay, fine. If you do that, then what's the concession coming back? Are you going to give us more money to spend on healthier foods going forward? I would hope so, because if they think they're just going to limit these foods and not allow beneficiaries to spend on these items and then give us the same dollar amount, that's not going to go very well. <laughs> I think I think we all know that, right? That is not going to go very well at all. So what are we supposed to do? Buy strawberries all day? You know what I mean? Like, what are we supposed to do? Buy packs of strawberries and grapes and bananas and eat on that? That's very expensive stuff too, right? Anyway, this is what they're now suggesting. I wanted to bring this to your attention because... If you think it's ridiculous, Congress will come up a way, with a way to think about it, right? That is what Congress does, right? They come up with a lot of uh, kind of nutso, crazy ideas and then think, wow, I can't believe they actually thought of that. But 
this is one that's floating around out there. So anyway, wanted to bring this to your attention, but like I said earlier, this has not been implemented yet. They have not changed this yet, but like I've talked about before in other videos, they are bringing the farm bill later this year, okay? Before the new fiscal year begins, they have to have that farm bill done. Well, is that going to maybe implement some changes to SNAP? I would probably bet that it's going to. We don't know quite yet because it's still too soon to know, but it's not that far away. A couple more months here, a few more months here, and they have to get that bill done. The farm bill, this is one that comes up every five years, and it's time. Has to be done before October, okay? So that's a big one right there, and that one is also what uh, allows some funding for SNAP, okay? Very important stuff. Anyway, of course, I'll continue to watch this and any other crazy ideas that they come up with to basically, you know, hurt beneficiaries. Not cool. Anyway, I'll keep you posted. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Take care, have a good one, and catch you again later.